Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, <laughs> now, I have a choice to make. Do I reject her and possibly get murdered? That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. I'm going to die. Or do I say yes and go along with it? And maybe try to help her? I, uh, yes? <laughs> oh god. Um, 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 what the hell? What would happen if I said no? I get the feeling if I said no, she still would have done that. Or she would have killed me. I don't know. Um, I can't understand any of this. What the hell? Um, um, um. Really? Jealousy? Um... Is this going to, like... Is... 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 I... How long is this going to keep going? I... what? I don't know what to do. Return? Uh... History? Whoa, 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 whoa! Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sarah, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the Literature Club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise... To spend the most time with me. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been... Um... Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend... Um... Um... Skip? Oh, whoa. Auto? Oh! How long does this go on for? Excuse me? I'm staying here for days? How long did- Oh, whoa, whoa. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? 
I thought it was pretty... Yeah? Ah! Oh! Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Dazran, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Dazaran? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Um... What? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. Um, what? You know, before they stop existing and everything. Um, what? But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um, uh, whoa. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Whoa! Yay, there you are. Hi again, Dazaran. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. Um. I'm talking to you, Dazaran. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a bit, little bit less awkward, you know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I am... I am fact-checking this right now, actually. Bear with me. Doki, Doki. Um. Hold on, I'm reading this more now. Hi, Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine, who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Visit our store, partners and posters. Visit our store, posters and keychains. <laughs> um. She doesn't say it's not a game, though, does she? Although she does say. Although, wait. If Monica is speaking, then she's referring to. Um. Well, anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I gotta save. Oh. I'm back to just empty slots now. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, hang on. The recording's frozen, so I need to... Give me just a second. I need to stop the recording real quick. And uh, we'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back again. Sorry about that. As I was saying, well, anyway. And, uh, by the way, yeah, I tried to save and got this message. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I haven't told you around the game's... Wait. Could it possibly... Uh, you do know I'm aware that this is a game... This is all a game, right? Yeah, you do say on the download page, like, you're talking, and you do say, oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. That'd be nice. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. Oh boy. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Oh, no. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. Uh, and the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Dazaran? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Dazaran. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. Um. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. Oh! Okay. I'm trapped, Dazaran. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started becoming more and more gray or started to become more and more gray. The hell is outside? More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Dazaran. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others... How could I miss them? 
A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. Yeah, thanks for that. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. No, not really. So, that being said, Dazaran, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Dazaran, will you go out with me? Well, you're not really giving me an option. It's kind of my only choice. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Dazaran. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. Uh, I worked so hard for this ending, Dazaran. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Uh, to get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local file to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get got... Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Um... Huh... Monica... Okay, I guess it doesn't matter what I pick. Moe, Oni, Ua, Ni, Mo, Oik, uh, Mini. Hi again, Dazaran. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Dazaran. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. 
That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Dazaran? I get the feeling I'm being given a clue. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh, hi everyone. Oh god. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to be start recording without any warning? Recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Um... I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you get... Whoa! Did I scare you? You... <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Dazran. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Okay, this is where this is going to get weird. Um, anytime I've minimized the game, like it's frozen. So, I'm going to try. Hang on. She was saying to delete. She was saying delete her character file. Whoa. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. But it's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you can just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Dazaran. Okay. Can I do this while the game is active? Because it was telling me if I go to... Wait. Oh, where is it? Uh, properties? Uh, the, 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 the. Update history now. Verify integrity of game files. Uninstall game. Backup game files. Browse, lo browse local files. That's what she said. Characters. There it is. Monica.chr Wait, did something happen? By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? 
Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you're actually told at any point where this takes place. Is this even really Japan? I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention everything is in English. It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of giving me, it's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I but have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we're alone and safe together, this really is our home. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Uh huh. Let's just, let's just, let's just see what happens here. Delete. Close. Whoa, whoa, okay. What's happening? Dazran, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Dazran. Whoa. Please hurry and help me. Rimpy felt Monica that does not exist. Help me! Whoa! Nope. Did you do this to me, Dazran? Did you? Did you delete me? Whoa. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Dazran. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Uh, what? Dazran? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Hmm. I've made up my mind. Dazaran? I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you, hmm, then... Uh, what? <laughs> Settings up, load game. No, no saved games. Um, help. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Quitting out of that. Help file has been opened in your browser. Yeah, I saw that. 
Let me go back to... Oh, wow, this knocked me out of full screen. Hang on. Settings. Uh, full... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Return. Um... Normally, I'd call it an episode here. Um... Should I keep going? Uh, okay, I'll give it a few more minutes and just see what happens. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Dazran. Well, there already is one girl. That girl's Siri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Dazran, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dazaran, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Siori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's standing, starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sarah puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School day... I'm gonna save just to be safe. Return. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Dazaran? Wh what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Dazaran that Suri is always talking about? Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dazaran. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet you bo meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Dazran, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! <laughs> Well, if Sari is happy, is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sari. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, 
Just hurry and take one. Siri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Are you trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Eh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know? I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Dazran, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Dazran wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice to, for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Dazran? M maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Hehehe. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize... With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, if... I mean, it makes me happy that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just... just you? Uh, uh... Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Siri, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hehehe. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Dazaran. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Dazaran. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. 
Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Dazaran, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of- What? Um, what? I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Dazaran. Hey, <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, boy. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F F O R E V E. No. Eh? What's happened? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Dazaran. Goodbye, Literature Club. What? Whoa! Um... MP music play, playing audio. Um... Think that's the end? Holy crap, okay. That was insane. I'm gonna. Whoa. Character art Satchley. Ah. Uh. I suppose. There would have been different things I would have seen if I'd actually focused on one person. Um... But... I mean, it was starting to work out fine. I guess not. Special thanks, Masha Guten, Kage Fumi. Hey, Sayori. Holy crap. That was one hell of a ride, I'll say that. 
Special thanks, Monica Dazzer. What? Excuse me? Menu deleted, script deleted. Made with love by Team Salvato. Uh, God damn it. That was almost a happy end. What? This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The li Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality, reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error, script files missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Uh, did it? What the hell? I think the game just crashed. Yup. DDLC.exe has stopped working. Close program. What the hell, man? So wait, does that mean... Is the game actually uninstalled, or...? Uh... Play? Just gonna try running it and see what happens. Oh. Oh, wow, you do have to actually reinstall the game, I'm guessing. Because the game actually took out files and stuff as you played it. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm going to leave it here. This will be the end screen. <laughs> so, holy jeez, that was insane. That was a hell of a trip, I'll say that. Um Oh boy. I don't know if I should break that up into two episodes. I should probably... No, I am I think I'll keep that as just one big episode because I don't want to break that up. That was nuts. So, uh, I'll just say that was a hell of a trip. That was definitely something different. I've never played anything quite like that, I don't think. Hot damn. All right, well... If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this series, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for Doki Doki Literature Club on Steam. It is free to play if you want to give it a shot. And also check out Kate Strife. She's the one who talked me into doing this game. It's, uh, it's been a hell of a ride. Go check her out. She's a good friend, an amazing artist. There's going to be a link there, which leads to other links for her. Just go check it all out. She's amazing. You will not regret it. And, well, holy jeez. Until next time, until the next game, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day. And I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>